Hi friends. Welcome to HR Tech. Today I am going to tell how to avoid if conditions with more conditions. This is a sample link. Here I given employee name, date of joining, date of left. You know yesterday I explained how to get the two different date in the values. This is the difference. So we are getting the experience. I need a simple a grouping of experience. This is my grouping who are all left in less than one month and one month to two month and two month to six month, six month to one year, one to two years, more than two years. So based on this grouping, usually we will do the if conditions. If see, I already made a if formula. So I'm just copying this formula and if you do this formula I'm entering you have entered too many arguments for this function it means we have we are giving more conditions for uh, if another if so we are not getting the result so to avoid this we can do a simple tricks because uh, when you using excel everybody knows the vlookup the very basic formula so we are going to use a very basic formula to get this grouping i'm going to tell a very simple trick just to see we need a lookup value this is my lookup value and this is the table i selected it table then the column index is 2 so here usually what we will give the exact match false correct so if you give this formula I am getting the error see I am not getting anything so error is coming because exactly 4.64 is not here because 4.64 is more than two years so what I'm going to do here I'm giving a true it means approximate match okay this is exactly you are getting the result more than two years if I do same thing see again I'm getting error because when you do copy paste the formula always the formula automatically it will go down because we are not freeze the value so I'm going to freeze this table see so you can go n number of rows based on your data so this is a very simple trick please come on if you need any clarification or any doubt Thank you, we'll see in another video with a simple tips.